Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and Johnson and I are back in New Zealand and we're going to be doing some fishing today. We launched out of uh, Taronga this morning. So we're with Blake. Kia ora. Yeah. And James. G'day guys. Yeah. And Blake's promised me some big fish, man. Some <laughs> world record snapper, world record kingfish, world record good time. We're definitely in the right place for it. Yeah. Mare Island is home of some big fish. All right, man. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> see if we can get get into them firsthand. Let's catch the liveies first, eh? All right. Taco. Yep. So up, down. So as you lift the reel handle up. Yeah. Then then you lift the rod up. As you go down, you go up, down. Oh up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. I got you. you. Go up. Yeah, I'll like show that. you. Yeah. So as you go up, your reel goes up. All right. As you go down, it goes down. Up, down. So then you can do it fast. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> there you go. Here you go, Take it, take it. I told you, it's a technique. <laughs> All right, we're on. That was pretty funny. Do you want me to show you how to do it? Blake was showing us the technique. <laughs> up, down, uh, and then all of a sudden, oh, we're on. There's <laughs> a big one? It's very strong. It's very strong. You then uh, forgot how strong they are? I've got a gimbal on board as well. Oh, oh wow. I was about to rig this one up too. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah, Definitely I see it. It's come up that fast. Yeah, it's pretty small. I mean, it's like a good. It's, not it's a good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Yep. Bring it to you. No, no. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. You see a nope. Slippery. Nicely done. Nice. A little bit bigger than the ones he said. Yeah. Still babies. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a baby still, huh? Yeah. You want to hold him just then? Sure. Here, give me, give me the rock. Yeah, nice one. Does he go back in the ocean? Yeah, he's too small. Shall I have him go now? Yeah, hold on. He'll be, he'll be close legal, but he's not. Yeah, I think he is legal. Oh, that's the first one. First drop. On the tusks? Yeah, go for it. Oh, is, is it? There you go. I've got a few marks around here, so I know. You'll see when we hook up. <laughs> yeah, so we're just making the jig flutter. I don't know if I could feel anything bigger than that. There's, no, <laughs> there's, there's a lot more down there if you want to drop. Oh, yeah, Blake's on as well. Got a few to catch today to get something to take home since we didn't get any keepers yesterday. Yeah. We're only in the small, small king spot. We're not even out of the knowledge yeah. yet. Sick. Beautiful colours, eh? Yeah, it's gonna be super tasty. In real good condition as well, eh? How fatty is it? Yeah. Just a barrel. It's gonna be some good chewing. Good stuff. More of, of that. Sashimi, eh? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. Small one? Yeah. Hooked up. Yeah. He's already here. Oh. <laughs> there Another wee rat. Small one. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> yeah, all the way down. Yeah, it's always worth dropping to the bottom because they'll follow it down. Yeah. Good check out. Maybe lift a little bit higher, Taku. Yeah, let it flutter. Beautiful, beautiful technique. Good. Yeah, you're sort of getting a loop on the way down, which is perfect because it's just letting it flutter just a little bit. It just oh, yeah. gets them wound up. There we go. Jacked with them. You picked that up really fast, Taku. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I have to tell people 20 times. <laughs> go, 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 go. Here we go. That's definitely Kingies too. Positive thinking on this boat, James. Nothing else, please. <laughs> you should have kept the pressure on. Keep jigging, keep jigging, keep jigging. They're still there, they're just spread out. 
That's the first time it's ever happened and I've told someone how to do it and they just listen. It's never happened before, Taka. It's almost like... Oh, it's you like you want to catch a fish or something. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like I've been fishing before. <laughs> <laughs> it's all luck really, like it's, yeah. They're either there or they're not. It's yeah. not anything in between. Yeah. That's the thing between jigging and, and, and live baiting, right? They, the live bait's going to attract them in, whereas the jig, unless they're there. Yeah. Here we go, we're going to give it another drop here. Oh, well, Dawson got a fish. What is that? Little red snapper. Yeah. Red snapper. It's not a snapper. Yeah, it's a red snapper. What? It's a golden snapper. Sorry. Golden snapper. Goldies. Yeah. Uh, it's a goldfish. It's cute. It's That's a small though. one. Maybe they one. They don't grow a lot bigger, but uh -huh. they're very edible. Should we keep it or? Uh, let that. that one go. If there's one, there's normally quite a few. That one's very small. Nice. Look how pretty that is. Pretty. Yeah, so normally when you park, when you catch one of those, you'll start catching a whole heap. Oh, yeah. Because you park on a whole of them. Oh, there you go. Dawson's on. Ah, as usual, eh? Same, same size. Oh yeah, just a tiny bit bigger. You can keep them if you want. Yeah, look at You're it. allowed to keep, I think it's 20 or 25 years worth. I think it's 20. 20 years really? Years What's the minimum size? There isn't one. Alright, All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. Ah, it's a little small. <laughs> There's not much meat on them. We'll put them back. Another one. There we go. There we go. Oh, Taku's on. Double hookup, Taku. Double. Oh, I'm on. Massive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're not getting much bigger, are they? Nah. Same size. Start keeping them, man. You want me to? Yeah, we'll put them together or make some curry or something out of them. <laughs> Blake's got some there. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm still there. Oh, the camera. <laughs> It feels like a snapper. It's like a snapper snapper. Like a red snapper. Yeah. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Snapper. Nice. A little bit bigger. Let's add into our curry. <laughs> see, that's a better eating size. Just a little yeah. bit bigger, a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, that's definitely better eating size for sure. Oh, they're bait. Oh, yeah? They're bait. I'm on. Nice. All right, let's get the bait. So we were looking for live bait all morning, but we couldn't find any. Now we just stumbled upon, upon some uh, nice liveies. So we're gonna hopefully catch some more bait, and then that'll be perfect for some big kingfish. Blue koheru. Blue koheru. That's that. That's, they're like the uh, they're like a type of mackerel. Yeah, yellows. They're the candy of the. Um for We've yeah. got them again, they're under us now. Alright, they're right under us right now. We're spot locked, so cast your cast your lures up and let it drop. Yeah, just let it drop down. I basically just wound up. They're right there, so just start jigging as soon as you can. Is that, is that leader? That means there's not much line out. They're at 13 meters now, you should be able to catch them straight away. Oh, there we go. Get oil on. Yeah, so gentle on them, very yeah. soft mouths, very soft. Okay. When you launch it into the boat, it's really fast. Alright. Are you both on? Yeah. It's double hookup. Double. Look at the skull, man. <laughs> Whoa. That's the live bait. Yeah, that's oh, just okay. the live bait. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Did it break off? Yeah. What happened? Off. <laughs> I'm on a kegi. Are you? I have my live bait on the oh way down. Oh no! I lost it right there. Really soft mouth, guys. Yeah, really soft. Look at that. The mouth actually ripped off. Here. There we go. Nah. Yep. 
Easy on them. Right. Light drag, really light drag. Really soft mounts. Double hooker. Another one. Both of you, go for it. Another double. Get on that net. Who's going for the world record? Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. They're under us. Yep. Come on. Straight away. Look at that. Taku, do, yep. do you think... Oh, no, if he's knitting them, I guess he can borrow some of our live ones. Are you going to say you can't, you can't have any live ones? Yeah. Well, if you can't <laughs> catch them, why should you have one? <laughs> I'm just dickhead. <laughs> It's good when the live baits put up this much of a fire day. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Alright guys, look at this. We got live bait. Perfect. It looked great too. Look at that one's green. This one's blue. Mostly blue, but that one's green. It's a special one. Oh yeah. Kingfish candy. There's some birds working up there. So I got my stick bait ready. And we might try to get a surface. Stick bait one. Oh, flying fish too? Oh, man. Oh, it's a flying fish. Look at them. Get it, flying fish. So the flying fish is the bait that they're chasing there. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's coming <laughs> after my freaking stick bait. Can we get that rod out of the flying fish? Sure. The birds are trying to get my freaking stick bait more than anything. Get out of here, birds. My gosh, can you guys see this? Birds are diving like crazy. The dolphins are going off. There's a ton of dolphins too. But dolphins, birds, and hopefully kingfish in the mix. There's a lot of stuff going on right here. Oh my gosh. Wow, it is. This is a proper workup. Now, got a big hook on here. We're gonna send out a live bait. Oh, nope. Oh, that come out. He did that well, didn't he? Yeah, just vibrated it off. Yeah. That's my sword. Hook up. Swim, buddy. Swim. You want to pull it in? Oh, I got James. James. Oh, James. James. Okay, James. Here you go, James. <laughs> First one on the livey. Here we go, James. Oh that took a long time, didn't it? <laughs> We're just trying to work out how to troll. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, James. Bring it in. Yeah. I like mine, baby. <laughs> yeah. Didn't take long at all. Was that all a little We're trolling in less than five minutes. <laughs> yeah. He's just trying to keep his head coming up. <laughs> keep him away from that reef. Oh, wow. Not used to that. <laughs> How's it feel, James? Heavy. <laughs> I think it's starting to get some headway on it. Expect me a big run yet, though. Gotta get it away from any sharks down there. That's a big worry. Don't let the sharks have it. It's our fish. <laughs> <laughs> here he is, here he is. Nice kingy. Oh yeah, this color. Oh, there's another one behind him. <laughs> no way. Yeah, 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 look about. There's a small one behind him. Oh yeah, I see it. There you go, mate. He's leader. He's a good fish. He's a big fish. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh yeah. my gosh! 
Holy crap, that's a big fish. That's the one we came for. That's a big fish. <laughs> Come on, big boy. Get in in there. Oh, yeah. whoa, that's a big fish! Yeah. Oh. That is the one we came to Tauranga for. That was the Kauis, eh? How good. Once yeah. we got those liveys we were in. That kingy candy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah, grow that for Hey, you team effort, yeah. we, all caught, we all caught the Kauis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't catch you, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's too big for <laughs> Don't let him go over the side. We worked too hard for yeah, that fish. Yeah, looking forward to some sashimi and some other meals. Good work, team. Now we just need to get Taku one, twice the size. Yeah, he's, he's quite long. Left line, left line, left line! Ooh. Flick that bail, flick the bail. Make sure that drag's tight, ready for strike. Here we go. Another one coming. You just sit it now. Did he eat it? He's eating it. I don't know if he's eating it. Close the valve, it's rolled up and just it Yeah. Give it a few winds up. Not yet. No, I think he's backed off it. Can you still feel can you still feel him twick, twickling around? I'm gonna measure how long this king Yeah, no, 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 pull it right in. Same area as before. It's 114 centimeters. Oh, let him go. Pretty big fish. Definitely been in something's mouth that thing. Yeah. It's half scaled. Oh. <laughs> Is that getting hurt? Oh, yeah. Something. Yeah. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, no, you're in. Strike, 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 strike. Set the f up. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, sit it! Come on! You still haven't set the hook! Beat the s out of that thing or it'll beat the s out of you! Oh! Go hard! Go hard! Go go hard. Go Tighten that drag! You're in a reef! Just go, go, go! I think this is bigger. <laughs> Looks good. Holy oh, crap! I think this is gonna work! Lift and one. Holy cow! One down. Oh my gosh! Don't get the line too close to the boat. Don't hit the don't hit the boat. Walk forward, yeah. Just help it hold it. Just keep that away from the boat because that boat is spinning. Holy crap! Turn right. Uh, turn right. Taku, yeah. Pull that other, other pull that other live in, mate. Okay. It's gonna cause us issues. This is much bigger. In one, 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 one. Tighten the drag, right? One. Yeah. Nice. Get it coming up. Let's go, Joss! Hey, watch the boat, watch the boat! Yeah. You want me to take over? You sure? You got oh, it? I think Jocelyn's got this. I think we, need, right. to just, yeah. we need to just cheer on Jocelyn. Come on, Joss, you got it. Come on, it's a workout day. Find in that drag if you can. We'll cut your arms, Joss. <laughs> we are off the ring, though. Real, real. Fine, Joss. <laughs> You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. You wanted it. You so got you this. Oh, oh, come on, Chuck. Holy cow. If you can put your foot, the hand on the spool, try and stop him. He's going for something. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Come on, Josh. Wine. Go, Jocelyn! Get it done! Come on! Oh, no. That felt like a reef or something. Yeah, I knew it was going for something as soon as I hear it. Oh, man. That was a monster. That was a monster. That was 30 kilo glass. Monster. Ah! That was a big one. That was a bomb. That was massive. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, that one, I thought this one that we just got was big. Man, that one's even bigger, maybe even twice the size. I feel like I should have given it to you when I first said I wanted to give it to you. <laughs> but then you he's said like, you wanted it. No, but then yeah. I was like, oh, I think I should hand it off. But then he was like, you're going to regret it. And I was like, oh, maybe. But <laughs> no, I don't think there's So what happened was like, 
they were like, who's next? I was like, oh, I, w I was saying like, I want next. And Justin was like, no, I want next. And then I was like, fine, all right. And then I, was like, let, her ha I let her have it. <laughs> she wanted the smoke. She got it. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to hand it off. <laughs> and I should have when I first, because yeah. maybe you could have brought it in. Yeah, maybe. But it was like trying to push it away. Yeah, that thing was a freaking train. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> Interruption for today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN which protects your online identity and keeps your personal data protected from cyber criminals. When we use our own Wi-Fi at home, we don't really need to worry about these cyber criminals, but when we use public Wi-Fi, which is unsecure, that puts us at risk. And as we're now traveling, we use a lot of unsecure public Wi-Fi. But with Surfshark VPN, we don't need to worry. It encrypts your online data and helps to secure your personal information. Protect yourself by using a VPN. Not only that, but with Surfshark VPN, it allows you to change your IP address to many countries. For example, when we're trying to watch Netflix at home, we want to watch The Office. You can't watch it in the US because they took it down. But a little hack you can do if you change your IP address to Canada, now it's connecting. Now we're basically in Canada virtually. We go to Netflix, look up the office, and there you go. You got the office from protecting yourself against cyber criminals and being able to access blocked websites and content in certain countries. Get an exclusive holiday deal. Enter Outdoor Chef at checkout to get up to six extra months for free at surfshark.deals slash outdoor chef. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now back to it. One other thing I want to mention is a subscriber trip coming up in July 1st to July 9th of 2024. We're going to be doing a trip in Southeast Alaska and we're going to be on a yacht the entire time. Uh, it's a bit more of a high end kind of trip. Um, all the details will be posted in the description and um, there's going to be a link as well um, so you guys can sign up if you like. But yeah, the price point is pretty high for this one. It's at $8,000 per person um, just because yeah, we're going to be spending seven days on a yacht in southeast Alaska uh, catching king salmon, halibut, dungeness crab, spot prawns, and who knows what else. Um, it should be a really really fun trip uh, if you guys can make it there's going to be only six spots available uh yeah i understand the price one is very high on this one it's a bit more of a high-end kind of trip it, it's all all included all the food is included beers and wines included just no hard alcohol is not included uh and there's a full-time chef on board and that not not me there's somebody else but i'll be doing some cooking as well so it should be pretty epic i'll leave some more info in the description all right guys well we had a Pretty good fishing day. It started out actually really good and then it slowed down. Then Jocelyn got her butt kicked by a big kingfish. <laughs> That's something uh, I'm looking forward to. But we're gonna get out there again on the chase for the big ones. And now we are at uh, Blake's place and it's the next day. Oh, we're gonna process these fish and make some food. Let's get to it. We got the big kingfish right here that James got. Uh, we'll start off by uh, just with scaling, filleting, and portioning. You know the deal. So I'm going to actually scale this guy first with the knife, like this. Skibby key. See, it looks like I'm cutting the skin. Actually, I cut the skin right there, but this is just cutting the scales. All right, here you go, guys. Take a look. Now it's been descaled. Got nice, clean fish. And by taking the scales off, you also take the slime off as well. So you're working uh, with nice, clean fish. Uh, you've, you're using the cutting board and all that kind of stuff, especially outdoors. We don't have access to uh, a sink you know just immediately right here but uh, it's also good to keep fresh water off of saltwater fish because it actually dilutes the um the, the salt content in the fish and it'll make it mushier 
um, because of the osmosis, just the natural um, tendency for the, the, the environment they live in. We put more uh, fresh water in there, naturally the salt from the fish is going to leave and in turn the flesh of the fish will become a bit more mushy. Um, so yeah, we like to keep it, keep any fresh water off of that and by scaling it that helps as well. And also when we package it later on too, we can keep the skin on and it's going to be nice and um, when we pull it back out, defrost it, it's going to be perfectly, uh, like really good, really good quality and not all slimy. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and fillet this guy up. Alright, first I'll just cut the skin right there. And basically every time I'm going to wipe my knife, try to get all this, the little bits of scale that's left there off of my knife before I continue. Now I'm just going to follow the bones along. Now I've exposed the spine there, and you can see that. I went kind of on top of the spine. Now I'll go to the other side. Actually, i got to disconnect this here. Nice long fish. Filleting fish is one of the most therapeutic things. You just take your time and enjoy. Okay, now I should be reaching to that top of the spine again which will make it kind of uh, separate the meat from the bones. Now I'm at the rib cage. Now I'm going to just cut through the rib cage. Should, shouldn't be too difficult. I'm like running out of table here. There we go. And now this should all come apart. Beautiful. I'm gonna actually just clean this off right here. <laughs> okay, so uh, Blake flay this one. <laughs> just take him instantly throw it under the bus. See how so many scales on here, and now we're just gonna wash it off because there's like ton, tons of scales. Like we don't want to eat that. Watch what happens when you wash it in fresh water. Just look at the meat right now, the meat quality. Just don't mind the scales, uh, but just look at the meat itself. And watch when you wash it in fresh water. Go ahead. All of a sudden, starts to kind of like make the make the outside like white starts to kind of you see that it's definitely lightened up in color isn't it it starts to almost like cook the meat it's not good for it it changes the texture yeah so that's why you want to keep fresh water off of the fish if you can and when you do if you do wash it it's better if you just you know wash it whole uh, while it's still whole and then you can even dunk this back into salt water make it a little bit better do a little, like a little salt water brine for it. All right, now let's cook some kingfish. Need a couple knives out of here. Mm. Got my clab knife with Ricky. These are still available, by the way. I've got a few colors left. So if you haven't grabbed one, go grab them. 
Put that there. I don't need this. I need this one though. My Yanagi. Classic sushi knife. I'll probably use this too. And I'll probably use this as well. Right. There we go. Knife bags also available on my website. Outdoorcheflife.com These black aprons are really nice as well. I like the I like the black color. Um, we've done several different variations of the apron now, but I think this so far is my favorite one. We have these available on the website as well. Alright, got that. I've uh, got my hex clad in here as well. We'll sear up some of the uh, kingfish. That's the sign of a sharp knife. If you can get the onion, the green onion, to be really, really thin. Working at a sushi restaurant, they, they told me to cut green onions. They told me to cut it thin. And I thought I cut it thin. But the chef took a look at it and he was like, We can't use this. This is for miso soup. And then I just laughed because I thought he was joking. <laughs> and he just said, Take it to the hotline for miso soup. <laughs> but hotline, which is what the, that's where they make the soup. And uh, I was like, Oh. Oh, he's like, yeah, he's like, that's that's not good enough for sushi. <laughs> and we got a bunch of citrus here. And we got some corn, too. Since we're in the southern hemisphere, uh, we got some, you know, summer, summertime flavors here. Even though it's Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, by the way. Hope you guys are uh, ha having a good one. Or this video is probably coming out, I think, like the day after Christmas. So, hope you guys had a good Christmas. We got this grill going here. I'm going to chuck the uh, the collars on here. You know how I like cooking the collars on the first day. Those are really fatty, a really good piece to cook just right off the bat. Um, it's perfect to grill those collars. And if you know, if you've been to any Japanese restaurants, they'll always eat hamachikama that's on the menu. That is the yellowtail collar. Yellowtail, same thing as kingfish. Um, it's delicious. I got some seasoning here. This is, um, it's like a Japanese seven spice with yuzu though. It's really citrusy. It's uh, delicious. I got this while I was in Japan. Actually, one of our friends gave it to us. Higo-san. So I'm just gonna cover this entire thing. Mm. Smells really good. Smells so good, huh? This, this oh, oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Can't really go. Can't really over season with these collars. These are so big. I'm gonna pour a little bit of oil on here too. I'll just get in there. All right, grill is nice and hot. I was reading 200. And it was like, oh, it's actually 200 Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So plenty hot. It's at like 225. Celsius, which is about 450. All right, here we go. We need the kingfish collar. I'm gonna go skin side down first. Put my corn in there too. There you go. So you guys remember this little, the golden snapper? I think they have this fish in uh, Hawaii too. So I remember the gnarly uh, gill plates that they have. Really sharp. And so with these ones, I left the scales on. So the idea is that the scales are gonna get nice and crispy as well. And we'll be able to eat them. So before you throw these in the hot oil, any fish, you want to make sure they're as dry as you can get it. Just wipe it down because if, you, if they're soaking wet, throw them in, they'll have oil popping everywhere. Let's 
scales look nice and crispy. Oh, how good's that weather, Taka? Oh man, oh look at the char. Oh, hey. Summer, you're taking photo taken. Call her, she'll, she'll look at you. Summer, Summer. Hey. All right, should be done. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Yeah, nice and golden. I think these should be pretty close to finishing. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's a little lemon zest. We got a little orange zest as well. So much fragrance. Let's get that off to the side for now. They have this beautiful, ooh, I'm gonna actually do, do this way. I wanna do like a diamond pattern for it. Here we are, okay. What are they steady thinking? Yeah, true. Sure. So this right here is the is the belly side of the loin, and we're gonna do sashimi with this side. It just because it's so beautiful and it's it's so good, such good flavor on it, and a, and a good amount of fat. Just a little light sear, just to get those diamond shapes nice, nice and uh, popping. And also, I you see all the popping that goes on, the sizzling, that's all the fat coming out. It's a lot of flavor. Just gonna plate this real quickly, uh, just uh, all around the plate. I think sticking it. Yeah. Just gonna naturally let it do its thing instead of going all the way in circles. Just kind of. This is really good. Like I said, really good with uh, citrus, even the sashimi. So we're gonna take some of this. Uh, Orange zest. Lime zest. We'll take these oranges as well, cut them up.
with the rest of this that I didn't cut off. I'm just gonna use the juice too. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna use the juice for the sauce. We got a little bowl here. Squeeze the orange juice in there. Let's squeeze some lime juice in there as well. And I'm gonna use the lemon juice. Also, we're making like a ponzi here because I'm gonna add soy sauce to this. And this is gonna be our little salad dressing too. Little soy sauce. I'll, I'll say about half and half. Delicious. Okay, we got a little salad going here. I'm gonna put more zest in here. All the zest I can get. I got some pomegranate. Five. We got our sauce. Put that in. A little flaky sea salt. Always a good finisher. And I forgot to put some sesame oil in the sauce, but that's okay. All right, cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Thanks, bro. Thanks for taking us out. Welcome anytime. Looks good, Taku. You better done yourself. Ah, that's good. Oh, yeah. All right. So we have some seared kingfish sashimi with a lot of citrus. It goes, to, it goes well with oranges, limes, lemons, all kinds of citrus. So I just incorporated all of it together and um, we have the collar as well and these guys are uh, the golden snapper and we fried it with the scales on it should be nice and crispy crunchy um, hopefully that's the idea <laughs> anyways <laughs> I'm the one that said it tastes good I'll take the blame <laughs> and then just have some corn and salad as well yeah that's great yeah enjoy Amazing. thank you oh, cool. sure. no but I, I definitely I appreciate the pursuit of the fish like it's um the challenge yeah i got a lot of respect for them too like it's it can definitely be hard and you can see why it's called fishing and not not catching yeah we had it hard at, at the start there yeah yeah we did. Mm. but i yeah i love the challenge aspect yeah. of the fishing too i really do enjoy struggling for them yeah struggling for them and then finally, it's just know, that when you, yeah, yeah, that reward when you actually finally do pay it, it just it makes it all worth it, right? Yeah, that's why we do what we do. And I've, it's happened to me so many times with so many different fish. You yeah. know, it doesn't matter what kind of fish it is. It just sometimes this is, it's this hard. is the second time you're back for a kingfish. Second time in New Zealand. Third time. Um, third time. Third time. Yeah. yeah. We'll get it. We'll get you one. Hmm. Yeah. Still loading. Hmm. Oh, the collar is so succulent. Yeah, I'll get that. Mmm. Taste that. Thanks, man. That's, mm. that's good. Yeah. Look how juicy this is. The seasoning is really good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Super juicy. Per perfectly cooked. So juicy. I like the citrus in that. Mmm. 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 Holy crap. That is amazing. Oh, this fish is good. This golden snapper. It is. Yeah, yeah man. This um, with the crispy skin is actually really good. Yeah, it's got a nice um, little fat content on it. They're very you pretty. Can taste it. You can feel it. Oily, feel would you say? Oil. Yeah, feel yeah. the oiliness. Yeah. I think I'll take a little piece actually of the. Oh, the big guy with the green onion. It's also really good. Cuts through. 
I don't really eat fish, but this is definitely very edible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so edible. <laughs> yeah, we're really actually really pleased with the colors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very juicy. Oh. I just think a bigger one would be better taco. <laughs> yeah. A bit, even a big one. Oh, so much fattier and yeah. so much larger. Get a and barrel. A, yeah. Friday. Be like, oh, yeah, we're going to go and again. And Easter it just eat. Catch what he eats no more. Mm-hmm. Takes too much. <laughs> oh, you guys hear that? Mm. It's Please. so... He wants some... <laughs> The golden snapper, man, with the scales on. So crispy. Yeah. Well, anyways, I think that's going to be it for this one. Stay tuned, because next time we're going to catch a massive kingfish, even if we have to keep trying over and over. Blake's going to take me over and over until we're going to We're going to get it. <laughs> right? It's going to happen. <laughs> Every day until, uh, until it happens. Yeah. <laughs> to the next time. Every morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blake, you ready? <laughs> Gotta go catch a kingfish. <laughs> I'm always ready, mate. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.